Good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 10th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and man, oh man, North America is burning up right now. Calgary, Alberta just recorded its highest temperature ever since 1990. They recorded 36.3, and today we had 36.5, as all of these fires are burning across BC, and we've got a heat wave moving in from the south as that high pressure anomaly is still looming over the western United States fueling these fires fueling a lot of warm Pacific air up so we've got wildfire warnings in Jasper Burns Lake Quesnil uh, parts of Revelstoke there are literally fires all over the place in BC right now and here's NASA worldview. Our skies have never ever looked like this. I went back as far as this thing goes and our skies have not looked like this in Canada ever. And nor we have nor have we recorded these temperatures ever. So wow. Stay aware and prepared because the West Coast is burning up. And a lot of people, a lot of firefighters BC is going to need help. But yes, you can see here, those purple icons are extreme heat warnings. 36.5 today in Calgary, Alberta. Parts of Medicine Hat and Red Deer, Alberta got 38. And all across the globe, we're looking at these purple icons for extreme heat. right up into parts of Norway. Well, that was last week, but still, times are changing. And we're just gonna go over here at NASA Worldview and have a look at the smoke, because this is an amazing footage. You can see the smoke is blanketing from BC to Ontario. There is a huge line of smoke as there's a large low pressure system developing in Alberta and heading south east so watch for the skies to clear afterwards in about three days actually after this smoke moves down there will be a low that will come and cleanse this area and hopefully douse the flames in BC and help these firefighters out look in here look at these twins Christy and John It's crazy though, I, I've never, as I said, I've never seen anything like this, not even in NASA Worldview's history has a day looked like this in North America. I mean, it's normal for Africa to look like this from above. You can see the smoke, you can even see the precipitation and the clouds in the East Atlantic are tainted. They've got a discoloration, they're filled with smoke. And over Russia as well, inside parts of Siberia, you can see large forest fires. So this is happening globally. Thank you for watching today. This is your global weather outlook and earthquake update. But I also wanted to give you guys an update on this heat wave and fire situation. So we're gonna go right into weather here. And as you can see, low pressure developing throughout Alberta and Saskatchewan midweek, cooling things down behind this. So the heat wave will be over within 48 hours, but then it just kind of heads east towards Ontario. But these large cold low pressure centers are getting ready to come back down the Northern front. see those tight isobars in the low pressure system in the Alaskan Peninsula watch for an uptick in seismicity in that area and Hurricane Hector is still just trucking across the Pacific Ocean as a category 4 so yeah Hurricane Hector category 4 right now heading north northwest look at this still just a perfect storm 
Wow. Hurricane Hector is turning into a super typhoon as it heads west through the Pacific Ocean. Maybe. But we'll see. Watching the Pacific belt line, the equator, as each day we still see mass amounts of evaporation, monsoon rains, and long precipital precipitable atmospheric rivers. And we've talked about those before. And look at these in the south. Southern hemisphere, we're seeing huge wings and south these large atmospheric rivers. Cold temperatures, Africa. Right below all the fires. We've got lots of rain and extreme weather events heading across Europe as well as we've got a cold front moving in to the all of Europe and they are really warm right now so with that cold front there will be a lot of pop-up thunderstorms and possible extreme weather events maybe even some more rare hail storms the size of grapefruits and we're gonna go to earthquakes now for the last 24 hours and you can see here today Russia recorded a 5.9 in Shikotan Russia and also in Japan a few places and we had that movement move straight south and we're starting to see more earthquakes in the Alaskan Peninsula area and less earthquakes in Hawaii only showing three in the past 12 hours. 5.5 here in the Bellany Islands region. Quite a few earthquakes in Chile. Calama, Coquimbo, Penco, Chile, and Chonchi. So, stay aware and prepared, folks, keeping you up to date here on the earthquakes for the last 24 hours. I want to thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. You guys are watching this video. It's very important to get those like buttons in right away as soon as you watch it. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family. We're going to leave you here with the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Thanks for watching. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye. enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world